Hey, what's up, guys? The Volley Guy Never here, bring you guys another bombastic video. And as we all know, we have heard a lot of good information about Call of Duty Ghosts. I wasn't excited for the game at first, but when I saw the multiplayer trailer, I became super excited. And now, just a few days ago, we heard some really bad information, and now I'm not so excited for Call of Duty Ghosts like I was about a week ago. And the bad information I'm talking about is that Call of Duty Ghosts won't feature a theater mode. And that makes me wonder how will I be able to record my videos. If you're on consoles and you probably don't know how recording works on PC, well, if you want to record you don't need to buy an external capture card, uh, but you just need to download a program. The most popular, perhaps the most popular program for recording game footage is Fraps, and I also use Fraps, it's a decent program, but when you record with it, the files are really large. Like, a 2 minute gameplay footage can be up to 4 gigabytes. That's a lot of space. But for me, that doesn't really matter, because I have a 1 terabyte hard drive and it always has a lot of free space. But what matters is that when you record with Fraps, um, the gameplay drops frame rates. It drops frames. That's for sure. For example, if I play Counter-Strike Global Offensive on 120 frames per second when I'm not recording, then when I am recording, uh, the frame rates drop to 60 frames per second. And uh, with Call of Duty Black Ops 2, it's pretty much the same thing. I play it on about 60 frames per second, and when I record it on 1080p resolution, it drops down to 30 to 40 frames per second. Uh, in my opinion, if you want to upload a good video without any lag, then you need at least 60 frames per second for a YouTube video. And I try to keep all of my videos to 60 frames per second, but I really don't understand how will I be able to do that with Call of Duty Ghosts. Well, here's the case. Always. When I record gameplay footage, I lower down the resolution from 1080p to 720p and make the screen smaller to play the game in a window rather than full screen mode. So if I record in 720p, it's always around 60 FPS. So that means I play games on 1080p but I record them at 720p. So how is that even possible? Well, it was possible thanks to theater mode in Call of Duty and thanks to console feature in Counter Strike. So th here's the thing. Call of Duty Ghosts won't have a theater mode, so that means I will need to play the game at 720p just to get that 60 FPS out of it. And I'll need to play the game in windowed mode. I really don't understand how will I be able to play it at one quarter of my 22 inch screen. Uh, I, will, I will probably die all the time because of that small window. And I guess Infinity War just fucked the PC over again. And I raised my expectations too high again for a Call of Duty game.